What were you thinking? Really? Wow, dude, that's the worst. You fell for the worst clickbait, troll bait ever. I'm disappointed, but not surprised. These balls, homie. So, you're like, dude, what does this have to do with a cigar box guitar? What does canning and mason jars... Oh, look at that. Do not covet my antique mason jar. Don't do it. Anyway, what does building cigar box guitars or canning have to do with each other? <laughs> like always, everything. Now, before we get going here, because this is going to be very profound, y'all know that I win big ribbons. Like, I put one of my guitars in the local Antelope Valley Fair and Alfalfa Festival. Don't forget about that Alfalfa Festival part. But I put a guitar in. It wins. Do I look surprised? No. Like my last one went to Victoria Bourne over there in Bristol in the UK, right? You've seen it all over the internet, but anyway. So you're still asking yourself, what does his guitar ability have to do with canning? Well, I know you didn't know this, but check these out. Are those like any carrots you've ever seen? Let me tell you something, I'm a plant person. Did you know that if you cut carrots radially, or in the layman's terms, cross-section the carrots, and you cook them, they lose their color. But if you cut them axially or longitudinally for you lay people, I didn't mean that the way it sounded, but anyway, they don't lose their color. And furthermore, do you know that if you run these through a food processor and cut them real thin, they all look perfect like pieces of gum. I mean, they are literally cut like a piece of gum. I mean, the doublement twins would freak out over this. Anyway, you put these slices in a piece of sewer tube about that big, how big the distance between there and there, because they judge headspace. I'm, I'm getting into stuff y'all don't know about. Your grandma would be able to explain this to you. But anyway, I don't think your grandma has this ribbon, but she could probably get fairly close to figuring out how to do this. But anyway, you put these in a piece of sewer pipe, and you rubber band them together in two spots, and then you cut them using the sewer pipe as a guide. You put them in the bottle with the sewer pipe, and they spin around in there. And when you walk in, and you go like this, man, them old ladies, the party is over right there. Trust me. So, you're not talking to some worm about canning. You're talking about ribbon winner, son. And you're still asking yourself, what does this all have to do with what you want to know? Hey, listen, if you're coming to me to find out information, I'm going to meter it out to you in the order and time frame I want you or I let you have it. So anyway, you see this? Remember the episode neck assembly line? I'll give you a link up there. But I made a bunch of these necks like this. And I like the wood on this. You see I put my, my uh, dowels through. The case of the slipping scarf joint. Uh, remember scarf joints pull this way. And if you put something in longitudinally, it uh, helps support the stress this way. Yeah, I'm a tree guy. Yeah, I don't know. It's easier to list things I am not than all the things I are. Anyway, I'm going to give you a set or, or a link up to this episode, Case of Slipping Scarf Joint, show you how to do this. But this turned out really nice, and I'm not going to paint it. You know, I've painted some next, but I'm not going to paint this. I like the wood, but it looks pretty naked and bare. So I'm going to get this straightened up a little bit, get these cut off, and sand this down where it's ready to go. And then, finally, we're going to use in-season fruit as a stain on this. So let's get this ready to go, and then we'll figure out how to can stain. Let's go to the bench. All right, the first thing we're going to do is cut these dowels off flush. I've got way too many scars on my fingers from being too close to this so like that there's a little gap there I put a little putty there I'm gonna make sure that this is knocked down a little bit I'm gonna take this to the belt sander here in a minute and uh, we're gonna shape this neck and get it 
down to the wood the way we want it nice and clean everything so get that glue off there so let's shape this real quick All right, there we go. That is real pretty. I like the curves on that. A little bit of light stuff to do here. That feels good because the fingerboard is going to sit here and we don't need anything sticking up and weird and odd there. So that looks pretty good. Take that edge down a little bit. I don't want to be cutting myself while I'm working on this. Backside looks good, especially right in there. So we are ready to go. But let's take a close up of this. See. I laminated several boards here to get this and I like the way that wood looks I don't want to cover it up but I want to kind of accent it and but I want to keep it kind of natural so hey look I got a, a pencil mark up there you see it I don't want that there we go that disappeared what do we got there anyway so I want to capture this wood just Another pencil mark. We got to make sure we get all this stuff, people. There we go. Anyway, so I need something to stain this that's light, um, and I'm gonna make it. Okay, get a pen and a paper because you're gonna need to remember this. Listen very carefully. First thing you're gonna need is some seasonal fruit like blackberries. Or cherries okay seasonal fruit get whatever's around you sugar content high is good but newsflash Twinkies are not seasonal fruit next you're gonna need some ball jars grab your balls check you're gonna need a mouth yeah, stop running yours and listen to what I'm saying. With your mouth, you're going to need to be able to spit. And from the looks of your shirt, it looks like you're pretty good at that already. And finally, you're going to need some vodka. 80 proof vodka. Yeah, like this. And I'll bet you that bottle that's permanently welded to your hand would work. Okay, this is tricky. Watch me very closely. Step one, get the fruit, cherry. Step two, put it in your mouth. Step three, spit out the pit. Step four, about every tenth one, put a whole one in here after you squeeze a little bit and fill up the mason jar. Now remember, you don't want your guitar neck to get food poisoning so you got to clean up your work area and that means you pull out the world's smallest blower all right ready that looks like it's ready for the USDA food inspector all right now we're going to take some of the blueberries and we're going to stick them in you remember this is a sanitary thing so you want to practice a high level of sanitation here like that like so anyway you're going to put them in there like that okay now i'm going to want to wipe my hands off because i don't want to cross contaminate I don't want to cross contaminate anything again be sanitary and we're going to take some of these pits that we got see all that them been in my mouth but that's okay because I'm a God-fearing man 
Anyway, we're going to put them in there like that. Okay. Spot, you with me? Like that. We'll fill it up like that. Now, these appear to still be somewhat intact, so we're going to take a sanitary tool, like this file, and we're going to mash them down like that, right? You with me? You want to be careful because you don't want to break the glass. Yeah. Like that, okay? Good. Yeah, it tastes good. Now, you want to take some of that vodka you got, right? And crack it open. Like this. And you're going to pour it in there like so. And you're going to cover that up. Quit crying. I know what you're thinking. Alright, you with me? See that? No, you can't have what's left. Now, you're going to take your lid, you're going to put it on there like that, and like so. You want to make sure that for a couple days you don't break the seal. See? You tighten that up. You're going to check this every couple days. You're going to leave that alone. And you're going to come back in about four months. All right, man. It is four months later. And I've been sitting here religiously watching this stuff. And boy, do I need a shower by now. But we're going to strain this stuff off and see what it'll do. Let's go back to the bench. Man, I'm buff. Oh, you have to do this the whole four month time. I forgot to tell you that part. Anyway, let's go to the bench. All right, you can see here that I've taken a piece of paper towel and a rubber band in Chick Flick Teal, my favorite color, and we're draining out the solids out of this, and we're going to end up, there's our stain right there. That's what we want. It's got this little brush here, and uh, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing, you know, they have ball canning jars, and then they have another kind. I'm forbid to say the name. My mother used to tell me that a cur is a mutt dog. And so I don't want to get into politics and all that, but only ball jars will do. So, remember this. Looks good, looks perfect. But we want to make that pop. We want to see where we glued everything together. We want everybody to know that this is basically yard sale wood or junk so we're going to put this over here i want you to watch the magic let's pick out that spot there where it'll jump right out at so we're going to dip this into here and watch this Ooh, look at that you see the difference that's pretty so we're just going to put a couple coats on here like this and we're going to get this done and let it dry in a couple times. And now we're going to put a clear over the top of it. But yeah, so we're going to call this Topanga Canyon Cherry Stain. You can see there's a big difference right there. Alrighty then. Couple, couple more coats and it'll be fine. Alright, I'm just over here playing around keeping the theme of the show going on. You know what I'm saying? But I got a couple coats on this and we let it dry a little bit and then let it sit out in the sun a little bit. But man, that's coming out nice. Look at that contrast makes it pop and it keeps the character of the wood we chose to use here so doesn't get any better than that only thing better than that is you giving me a like down below and um check out the links and there's also some information there but give me a like subscribe and hit the notification bell because i'm sure this changed your life see you next time